What's up guys welcome back to another video as you all know google rolled out android 12 beta 5 for pixel devices so here i flashed pixel 5 gsi on my oneplus 7 pro and in this video we'll be taking a look what all features are working on this particular gsi once again thank you so much guys for completion of 200 likes on a previous video and we'll keep the same like target of 200 likes on this video and guys if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe that will motivate us in making more videos. So here I have my OnePlus 7 Pro on which I have installed Pixel 5 GSI image based on Android 12 Beta 5. Let me show you the software information first. And here you can see Android version is Android 12. Security patch on Beta 5 is of 5th September 2021. And soon after you install this GSI on your device, you'll see a punch hole cut out towards the left top corner. That's because of the Pixel 5 GSI. I'll also try a few different GSIs and let's see if this thing gets fixed or not. One of the major issue on GSIs was related to Volti services and that doesn't used to work on any of the GSIs. But we have found a solution for that. Now if you want to use your Geo SIM card, you can easily use that on any of the GSIs. Enabling Volti services required root access. So I'll do a dedicated video on that. By tomorrow, video will be live on how to enable Volti services on GSI images. So stay tuned for that. Huge thanks to Biru who is a Telegram admin for helping me fix the issue of Volti. On a previous video of Android 12 on OnePlus 7 and 70 series, most users reported that they were not able to flash it on 70 series. So guys, currently I don't have any OnePlus 70 series device, but users have also reported that they were able to successfully flash Android 12 GSI. If you guys get any kind of error, then you can try out changing this slot from A to B or vice versa, depending on which current slot you are getting error. Installation guide of Android 12 can be found in the description below. And another issue with Beta 5 GSI is related to the VB Meta. So if you get any error while flashing VB Meta image, I've also mentioned a second command, you can use that. After using that command, you'll be good to go. And now after fixing the Volti services, there are no issues with the mobile data too. Mobile data also works fine along with the Volti services on Android 12 GSI images. But there's an issue on the GSI images, whenever you reboot your device, you'll end up losing mobile data or mobile network completely. But there's an easy fix for that, just go to settings, network and internet, under internet section, tap on this gear icon towards the right top corner, besides your sim card. And from here, once make changes in the preferred network type, switch to 3G and again back to LTE. This will fix the issue of no network on your SIM card after reboot. But this has to be done every time when you reboot the device. As always, don't expect GSI images to be fully functional. You'll obviously have some missing stuff like fingerprint unlock and even no face unlock feature. So if you go inside the settings, security and try up setting fingerprint unlock, you won't be able to do it. Though it works on some devices which have the additional hardware for fingerprint unlock. Still we have options to choose from like swipe, pattern, pin and password and you'll also not find face unlock feature here. Same thing goes with the alert slider which is completely non-functional on these GSIs and you won't be able to use the Bluetooth services. I tried pairing up device with my Realme Buds Air 2 but the device wasn't able to connect to Buds. So Bluetooth has been an issue on almost all the GSIs. And now let's talk about few of the changes done on Android 12 Beta 5. I've already made a dedicated video on that. If you guys want to check out all the features I'll leave that video guide in the description below. Now starting from the home screen, here you can see on the top left corner, at glance have been moved towards the left hand side. We are exactly not sure it's a bug or this is how it meant to be on beta 5. Though there's also weather information missing here. And later Google have finally added this new clock widget. Along with this widget, we get to see 4 widgets and a clock. With Android 12 Beta 5, most of the applications have adapted to Material UI theme. Here you can also take a look at the calculator application. A nice color difference between the important functions of calculator. After that, clock application have also been redesigned. And now on the Beta 5, we have clock version 7.0. Again, we have nice animation while selecting options in the clock. With this latest update of clock, you'll also notice a new UI for alarm which have these options like swiping towards the left hand side will snooze the alarm and swiping towards the right hand side will stop the alarm clock. Nothing changed in the quick setting tiles or notification panel. Some minor adjustment and UI changes can be seen with the lock screen and always on display. Beta 5 comes with this new universal search feature in the app drawer of Pixel Launcher where you can do search related to entire data on your device and even Google search. And I personally like the feature of universal search on Beta 5. 
On this build, Google have added a new widget of Easter egg that can be triggered by going to settings, tapping on Android 12 a few times, moving the clock to 1200 hours, and once you do that, go to the home screen, long press, go to widgets, and here you can see a new widget. Android as Easter egg. Tapping on it, you'll get a widget of paint chips. This will give all the color codes which are being used on your device. And just by tapping on one of the color, will give you option to share them with your contacts. And guys, Google camera application doesn't work. I tried few applications, but none of them worked for me. Though it's not like camera module is broken. You can use the third party cameras like Open Camera. But here also, we have an issue, particularly on my OnePlus 7 Pro. that when i switch to front camera the front camera doesn't pop up i'm not sure this is because of the pop up camera mechanism or something else so if any one of you have oneplus 7 series without pop up camera do try out and let me know in the comment section below whether it works or not and also guys let me know in the comment section below whether you want a complete review on android 12 beta 5 running on my oneplus 7 pro so guys this was a quick look on android 12 beta 5 If you still have any kind of questions let me know in the comment section below this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video